Hey yo, what is up guys, Akash here, back with another video and today we are going to take a look on how to make a LoRa gateway or a LoRa node you may say and this we are going to make today, the entire the PCB, the circuit, everything we are going to understand this is the PCB which I designed uh, myself and got it manufactured and we are going to solder this and all but basically these both are the same things, we have the same LoRa module, we have the same ESP module, we have some buttons, some resistors etc etc but earlier I was going to make a video on how to make this but I thought that soldering is complex and also I made it easy for you guys I will put all the links to these files in the description below of the PCB you can download it, get it manufactured and all that good stuff so what we have here is right now here we have two LoRa nodes that will be communicating to each other this uh, I have programmed this one as a transmitter this one as a receiver this is connected to the serial port of the computer and I'll pop the serial monitor over here so as soon as I plug the power into the transmitter one you'll see there are messages on the receiver the, the same packet numbers so there's packet 5, there's 6 and so on where we are getting some RSSI so this is confirmed that these two modules are doing the same work you can put this OLED, remove this OLED from here and put it here as well so I've made this removable thing there's good old electronics beneath the OLED as well so that's all over there hit the reset button and it comes back to life there's the same number of readings coming over here and that is hunky dory you may say so we'll see how to make this today what are the connections behind this what is the magic behind this I've also done an independent video on LoRa I'll link that over here you may see that so let's get started with the project I order all my PCBs from glcpcb.com. They offer 10 PCBs for $2 only. They also offer quick turnaround time and can produce PCBs as fast as within 24 hours. To design PCBs, you can head over to EasyEDA and then generate Gerber files for your project. Now head over to glcpcb.com, upload your Gerber files and get the PCBs manufactured for cheap. They are currently also offering discounts on shipping. Before starting with the build of the project, let's see how can we connect the modules to each other. So we have an ESP8266 module, a LoRa RA02 module and an OLED display. So the ESP8266 module cannot work alone on its own. It needs some basic connections like so you need to pull down the GPIO15, you need to pull up the enable pin and you also need to pull up GPIO0 and reset pins both. So I'll be using 1K resistor as a generic one for all. For purpose of programming, you also need to add two push buttons, one flash button onto GPIO0 and one reset button onto reset pin, both grounded. Moving on to the connection for the OLED with the ESP8266, they are wired using the I2C protocol. So it's a two wired interface. The pins are SCL and SDA, which connect GPIO 5 and GPIO 4 for the ESP8266. Once that is done, we need to connect the ESP8266 module to the LoRa module, and this is done over a SPI protocol that is serial peripheral interface. SPI constitutes of six connections. The pins on the LoRa module are SCK, MOSI, MISO, NSS, RST, and DIO0, which will be connected to the GPIO 14, 13, 12, 15, 16, and 2 of the ESP8266 modules. And that is how the LoRa module gets connected to the ESP8266. Apart from that, obviously, the LoRa module will be connected to 3.3 volts and ground as a power supply and so will the ESP8266 module and the OLED module as well. That is it for the connection side of it. Let's move to the practical side of it now. After my designing of the PCBs according to the circuit diagram was complete, I ordered the PCBs and got them manufactured. So I got 10 of these manufactured and the results came out to be pretty neat. So this is the PCB that we need to deal with. So this is I guess a 3 by 8 centimeter PCB. For customizability, I also added a good big prototyping area. You can attach some sensors, 
or some display as you want and you can connect them to this very node or gateway you may say from the back also I've added the LoRa symbol my name on it open source so you will find all the files for this PCB in the description below that is it so if you don't want this board you can just snap this off I've done that for one board so this is the board that I've snapped off and uh, there's this prototyping area i'll use probably this for another project so this is the main module that we are going to solder right now uh, taking a closer look so here we have the lora module that will be the ra02 couple of switches some uh, headers couple of resistors the main esp8266 module will sit over here this is a voltage regulator another couple of resistors the headers for the OLED shield. I have also put an header for programming so that the CP2102 programmer directly attaches in over here with a perpendicular female header. I put a good amount of thought while designing this PCB. So I got the majority of the components required for this PCB from lcse.com. It came in neat packaging. All the components came in ESD bags, the OLED shield, the RA02 I'll, and the LCSC offers a good pricing so I'll link in all the parts in the description below you can check them out and uh, so taking the parts out of this bag uh, this is the RA02 which will sit over here and the alignment of this IPEX connector will be over here the ESP8266 will sit over here this is the AMS1117 this will come over here and this OLED will probably come somewhere here like this and uh, the resistors the other passive components are the basics so let's get started with the soldering of this module while soldering PCBs of this kind always do the low profile components first the low profile components are the components which do not have much height so in my case I started with the ESP8266 module and then went to the LoRa module. While soldering the modules a little reflow using the soldering iron will help you a lot. Once the LoRa module was done then I moved on to the AMS1117 voltage regulator and soldered that as well. Then I moved on to the perpendicular programming female header. Once the header was done I moved on to the resistors and added all the resistors first manually to the PCB and then soldered them all. Once that was done I added the capacitor and then cut off the extra legs of the resistors. I added the switches as they were the next low profile components on the board. Then for the final touches I added all the headers that we need on the board. And that was all about it. Be sure to check for short circuits and other soldering mistakes before powering the PCB using a multimeter. It can really save you a lot of time and money probably. So once you're done with the soldering of the PCB, you'll end up with a PCB like this. Now before getting started, I'll need to uh, tell you some things that you need to keep in mind while using this module. Firstly, we need to put all of these five jumpers at least uh, before using this uh, ESP with the LoRa. So basically these jumpers will collect connect the SPI bus of the ESP8266 to the LoRa module. You can connect the 6 jumper as well but uh, using a link like this but uh, that is only when you are using this as a receiver unit. So I will be using this as a transmitter unit uh, and then you will also have to uh, connect a antenna to this always before powering the LoRa module. If you don't then there are high chances of your LoRa module getting burnt. So do that always with any radio frequency module that you use. You can attach an OLED OLED module over here on top of it. Before that we'll see that I've added a programming header over here. So if you have a CP2102 programming board like this, you can just plug it in like this over here. And that that is all. You can connect this to your PC as I have done right now and uh, you can also put in this OLED but I'll do that after the programming. So I've uploaded both the code of the receiver and the transmitter on GitHub and I'll provide this link in the description below. You will have to download the repository and then you can uh, open the code in the Arduino IDE. For the transmitter code you need to select the correct board and the COM port that you have attached your ESP module to and you have to do some basic things on the board. Let's take a look at that. 
now for programming we need to make the esp8266 enter into programming mode so for that firstly we need to press the gpio 0 button then we need to press the reset button then we need to release the reset button then we can release the gpio 0 button when we do this process at that time the esp8266 goes into program mode now let's hit the upload button and there you see all the lights blinking so this blue light is also blinking as you can see and so the code is getting uploaded right now once the code gets uploaded you see a done uploading message on the arduino id and you also see that the lights stop blinking now you can simply disconnect this cp2102 usb2 serial adapter you can connect your oled display and you can now power your device and you are ready to go but before that we'll first program our receiver module as well so that we can demo these with each other so i've disconnected the transmitter from the laptop and i've connected to an st link just for the power supply purpose so this is 5 volts and this is ground and this board which is our receiver i've connected it to the laptop using a usb to serial converter and i'll pop in the serial monitor for this over here now i'll put this into the frame and as soon as i connect this to the power supply here we see that the tra the transmitter starts sending the packets and on the serial monitor also you see that the receiver is receiving the packets i am getting a very good range when i am testing it outdoors is like 800 meters to 1 kilometer and with a good rssi as well so this is the beauty of this thing thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now hit the bell icon to get notified when we release a new video